Hey guys, I'm Boot. We're in New Jersey. Let's love and hate stuff. These were the sounds that ran my 2009. Now, sad to say with a heavy heart today I come to you to tell you that if you love Xbox 360 and there are a lot of great memories with it, that they are closing their store forever today on Monday, July 29th. You can still get in if you have your 360 and you can download games. Right now you can buy games. The ability to download the games will never change. However, the ability to buy them on the 360 will be completely gone after today. So I highly recommend you get in there and take a look around because there are some extremely nostalgic and wonderful titles for pennies on the dollar of sales. So uh, get in while you can. I will say this about the Xbox 360. Uh, the 2009 era I experienced was come back from Tennessee. Didn't really have a whole lot going on in my life at that moment. Decided that I was going to continue with playing video games. So I went ahead and I would play video games at a friend's house and I would play Left 4 Dead and I really enjoyed it. I mean, we played hours and hours between me and my two buddies uh, on Left 4 Dead and it made me want to go out and buy my own Xbox 360 and I did and I immediately wanted to hack it for some reason but didn't really know how. Took it apart, tried to hook it up to my computer and see if I could put extra files in it. I ended up not bricking the thing, thank God, but I repainted the shell, put it together, and I loved it. I played Left 4 Dead constantly. And of course, what is the, there's a soldier in all of us campaign on TV. I saw that and I was like, yes, like this is so cool. And I've heard about Call of Duty at that point in time. I'd heard about it so much, never played it. So I decided, why not? I'll jump in and give it a try. So I went and I got it the day, uh, I think the day after it came out. And uh, luckily it was, you know, still in the store. I played it and I got together with a group of people that were just amazing. They were so cool. And they were like, you know, oh yeah, come meet us at, you know, this time and whatever. And we would meet up every day and play Call of Duty. And eventually, like, I would work until about like, quarter to 10, something like that, 10 o'clock. And I would get home about 10.30. And then I would jump on with them and we'd play Call of Duty all night until like 7 a.m. And it was so fun, I loved it. And uh, you know, just that sense of camaraderie and friendship, people I've gotten to know over the years, you know, a little bit better. And you know, we some of us have lost touch, some of us, you know, still keep in contact sometimes, but those memories are just irreplaceable. I mean, you know, having a great time, cracking jokes, um, taking weird screenshots of like opponents that we killed in game. They would start twitching in the walls and we'd take a screenshot or a video and send it to each other. One time I was corner camp in a spot and he jumped on top of my shoulders and we took a picture of us standing, you know, in the corner together. Just fun times, you know, and the nostalgia is very real for this one. So Xbox 360 has a very fond place in my gaming history. And I will say that, you know, while I don't deal with Xbox anymore, I'm strictly PC mainly now. Those times, you just can't beat them, man. It was such a great time. And, you know, such great people, such a great, you know, point in time to enjoy that. Before, you know, video games came to a point where you can't talk trash anymore because it's hate speech. People don't want to talk to each other, you know, anymore. It's not as conducive in a, as an experience as it used to be. And some people who are just getting into the gaming scene, of course they get into it the same way, but there's too many people who are just there to trash talk and, you know, just make weird noises, kids screaming, all kinds of things. It's not conducive to a place where you make friendships. Taking it to a different place to have that conversation away from the squeakers. Um, but, you know, like I said, this console holds a very near and dear place in my heart. Lots of good memories. So I advise you to jump on to the Xbox 360 store, you know, get in there, get your Xbox 360 hooked up and just buy some games, man. They're pennies on the dollar right now. 
and absolutely worth every bit of the nostalgia factor and everything. So guys, that's about all I got for this one. Thank you guys for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.